did Gandhi receive 100 rupees a month from Britishers? This is the claim that is being circulated in social media. These claims say that Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi is not a true patriotic leader. He is not a freedom fighter. He got 100 rupees from British government and he was a British stooge. These are some of the claims that are circulating in social media which are claiming that there is a proof that claims that Gandhi received 100 rupees a month. In this video, we will see what is the truth. This is Yutan, I am Ramasamy Jai Prakash. You are watching Mini Fact Check. The claims made in social media have a copy of this particular letter. This letter is written in June 1930. To understand why this letter is written, we have to go a couple of months before that. That is from March and April 1930. Mahatma Gandhi in that time was starting the Salt Satyagraha. That is the Dandi March. This Dandi March started from Sabarmati Ashram in Ahmedabad and it went all the way to Dandi and it went by a walking procession. This Salt Satyagraha protest caught the imagination of millions of Indians and every freedom fighter from every part of the country. They went to the nearby coastal area and they started taking the salt in their hands. In order to understand why this protest was so big and so huge, we have to understand the condition back then. Back then, during the British times, they had a monopoly for trading salt. They were the only ones who can sell salt. They, they'll do all the manufacturing and they'll do all the selling. Indians were not allowed it. Only the British government can do it. And if Indians were to do it, there was a huge tax burden which prevented them from entering into the salt business. So this is one of the major reasons why the salt satyagraha started in the first place. The other reason is, of course, Indian independence. That also was the major reason. Mahatma Gandhi's Salt Satyagraha took place in March and April of 1930. And after that, it started spreading everywhere. And that is when the British government realized that in order to control the uh, protests from spreading over the country, throughout the country, they have to arrest Mahatma Gandhi. They arrested Gandhi on May 5th, 1930. And he was taken to the air of the central prison in Pune. After he was lodged in that prison, on the same day, 5th May 1930, a resolution was passed in which it was said that rupees 100 will be paid for maintaining Mahatma Gandhi in the prison. And this 100 rupees will be paid to the superintendent of the jail. Not to Mahatma Gandhi. It, is, it does not go to his personal account or it is not given to Gandhi's hands. This amount went to the superintendent of police. This was something very common back then because in the same letter that mentions that 100 rupees should be given to Mahatma Gandhi, it was said that three years ago similar arrangement was made in West Bengal. Using that as a precedent, similar arrangement was made for Mahatma Gandhi. In the resolution, it is also mentioned that there should be two medical exams conducted every month for Mahatma Gandhi and reports should be sent to the British government. So this is also one of the major expenditures that uh, the prison had to incur. So to cover all these expenses, this arrangement was made wherein the uh, superintendent of police was given this amount. It was not given to Mahatma Gandhi as a pension or for his personal expenditure. It was given purely for keeping him in the prison and maintaining him in the prison. Now what Mahatma Gandhi does? On May 10th, 1930, five days after uh, this initial resolution was given, Five days after that, he writes a letter. Mahatma Gandhi writes a letter to the Inspector General of Prisons. He told him that I shall not need anything near it. And all I need is my food expenditure and the newspapers that I need. Apart from that, I don't want to take anything else. Because millions of people are living half starved outside. And whatever amount that I could save, I should try to reduce my expenditure. Whatever money is given to me, I, should, I shall not spend it because people are suffering outside, people are starving outside. So he said, let me not take it apart from all this. The claims that are being made in social media that Mahatma Gandhi was paid 100 rupees a month as pension is utterly false. It is completely baseless. These claims are made by the Hindutva forces to tarnish the image of Mahatma Gandhi and to project Savarkar and other Hindutva leaders such as Godse who killed Mahatma Gandhi as the national heroes. There are many people who are claiming Godse to be the national heroes. So these are the kind of people who are making these claims to project the leaders of their ideology as supreme and to be altruistic and nationalistic and Mahatma Gandhi as a bad person. For this, these claims are being circulated in social media. 
For more information about this, visit Newton.in.